be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm actually going to be sharing how to go ahead and create an 808 pattern using the step sequencer. Okay, so I've actually already created the pattern. I'm going to go ahead and let you hear it. And then after that, we're pretty much just going to walk you through how you can create your own 808 patterns using the step sequencer. So let's just check this out. So I kept this melody super simple, as you can hear. Um, I just really wanted just to highlight the 808. I am gonna probably go ahead and finish this beat out later on, but let's go ahead and actually talk about what you could do to make your own, um, you know, 808 patterns using the step sequencer. So first of all, you obviously want to click on this guy right here. This is your editor, the one where you see the pencil at the top, and then from there you're gonna scroll over to you see step sequencer, and then this is your step sequencer now. Um, first thing I would recommend doing is actually go ahead and go over here to the far right, click on 16 steps, go to 64 steps instead. It's going to give you more flexibility. Um, basically, these boxes represent two bars each. So, like, for instance, this would be represent two measures, and then this would represent the other two measures. So, what I would say to do is just come over here and take the loop, put it over two measures, get the pattern straight there, and then come over here and get the pattern straight there. Now, before you can do this and really get cooking, you want to make sure that whatever your melody, um, you know, is in or the key that the melody is in, that the 808 matches. So you do have to go ahead and at least, you know, say pull up musical typing to find the, the main note or, you know, use your MIDI keyboard. So, so what you do is literally you just listen to this melody right and just start moving up the keys until you find a note that best resonates with uh, the melody all right so cool we found that pretty quick that's pretty much an F I mean a C sharp so once we know that we can come over here and then we're gonna want to take this root note and then change it so we're going to go C sharp, C3. These represent octaves of the, of the, of the keyboard. So we'll click on that. And then here, we're ready to go ahead and start creating. Now, I'm going to click on the first two measures, which is going to be these up here. And it's going to represent like this first bar. And what you're going to want to do is click this little guy right here, this drop down. You'll see these options right here. You have velocity, gate, and tie. Tie is actually going to be one of the main tools we're going to be using. And then instead of going with gate you can go with note and instead of velocity you can go with repeat and basically between using these three options we can make some pretty dope 808 patterns now you see this little white line that goes right here as you know what I'm saying the playhead is moving throughout the uh, timeline you're gonna see this white dot or this white little outline go over here and you can kind of just like see where you should place the 808 and also here so let's just start off That's pretty much what you're going to get if you, you know what I'm saying, start off with um, making an 808 pattern in um, Logic Pro 10. The tie option is what's going to actually make, sh make sure the 808 drags out. So what you'll do is take this and just click on it and then just drag it as long as you want the 808. I'm saying so we can pretty much take that and if we wanted to repeat we can like you know obviously take it and do command R and then say if we want this section to do something different or whatever the case is and actually I shouldn't have done that my bad y'all um, let me keep it this way so if we want to change up the pattern you know what I'm saying I'm gonna show you that now So 
So cool. So pretty much now we can come over here. We can come over here and then drag the notes out. And now we have this uh, more detailed pattern here. Now, remember I told you to do the repeat and the note here. So like if we want, we can kind of come over here. And then you can come over here with the repeat and do some stuff. This is how it sounds all together. And then pretty much just using these different tips, you can come in here and move things around and, you know, make any type of adjustments you need to. Um, you know, you can pretty much see this is what I did on this one. Kept it simple on this first two bars, second bars. I can chopped it up, did the repeat, you know, different things like that. So just wanted to show you all that, man. Let me know in the comment section if you like this video. If you want something more, you want to get something a little more thorough. Um, you know, YouTube is great starting place. But, you know, you want to go to beatmakingbasics.com, beatmakingbasics.com, grab our courses. Those are definitely going to help speed up the process for you, especially if you're a beginner. And we also have loop packs and uh, drum kits and mixing templates. So all things designed to help you as a producer, you know, improve your skills faster. So check all that stuff out and I will see you in the next video.